All right, thank you, Tony. Well, Mother Nature's close punches over the past two weeks have taken a major bite out of local snow removal budgets, including the capital city. But the leaders we talked to say there is a silver lining. Our live pinpoint weather team coverage continues at 11 with Eyewitness News reporter Kelly Sullivan, who joins us live from the Providence Mobile Newsroom. And I'm here at the Cranston Street Armory again, where crews are continuously making room for more snow. And tonight I got an update from the city of Providence on how the snow removal is going and if there is enough money to last through this snowy winter. Despite all this snow behind me, though, uh, there is some good news here. 43 inches and counting. It's not the snowiest winter on record for Providence, but the continuous cycles of snowstorms are definitely adding up, leaving massive piles of snow on the streets and sidewalks. We're working very diligently, uh, in some cases around the clock, to do the best we can to uh, make this city safe for the residents. Acting Director of Public Works Bill Bombard believes his staff is doing a great job given the amount of snow that's been dumped on the city. In the last 30 days, about 38 inches of this white stuff has blanketed streets, sidewalks and driveways, making it difficult for residents to get around. And with each snowfall comes a new teaching lesson on how to clean up what Mother Nature left behind. Well, no two storms are the same. They, they, they come in at, at different rates. Uh, the, the intensity of the snowfall is different. So each one is, 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 is a new learning curve. As far as resources, Providence is not in the red yet. The blizzard of 2015 cost the city $750,000. And to date, it spent a total of $1.1 million, with about $500,000 left in its snow removal budget. Enough money or supplies to last us through the rest of this winter? Well, can you tell me how much more snow we're going to get for the rest of this winter? Then I can answer that question. And that is the question, really, with two potential storms in the future. You know, how much more snow are we going to get? Well, Bombard tells me if the city needs more money, then it will find savings elsewhere to help continue to cover costs of the snow removal. He also tells me that the city is seeking some federal aid to help cover the cost of the blizzard of 2015. Now, since we're going to be counting inches of snow here, we might as well be counting how many days until spring. And if, in case you were wondering, the answer is 38. Reporting live with the Providence Mobile Newsroom, Kelly Sullivan, I would news.